just got here to Farmer Lake. Got the spearing gear, got some tip ups, got some bluegill gear. Hopefully, we're gonna slaughter the fish. Made it out here. Time to get set up. Time to cut a spearing hole. Set up in the spearing shack. Finally got a decoy, got it dancing around. We're in about nine to 10 feet of water and you can see the bottom, no problem, crystal clear. I want the new one. One last on that one. so far one keeper just sat down in the first bluegill hole about 15 feet of water been here for about five minutes probably about to move usually if uh, I don't at least mark a fish within five minutes I like to uh, switch spots gonna go a little bit deeper He's peeling drag. Oh man. Give it to him. Bigger one? Yeah, it's oh, bigger. Dude. Look at all that line he took. He out. was ripping, dude. This is going to be so much fun putting all that line back on, huh? Almost spool there, dude. That's our fourth flag. Our third fish on, for this sure. This is a pretty decent one right here. So that's probably about 100 feet of line so far. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's a 25, probably, right there. Just, just 24. Yeah. Beautiful Woo. colors on that. So we're out here on Farmer Lake. We're about three for four on tip-ups now. Two keeper pike, one little perch, and uh, lost one good fish on the jigging rod. We got a spearing hole cut over there. We're gonna stay out here all night, see what happens. Is that decoy a rip, eh? Oh, she looks beautiful. Where are the fish, Dustin? What do you say about our four spearing trip of the year? Well, I'm getting a little discouraged because every time we set a spear hole, I never see anything besides that one time, besides the first time there. And then it was just, uh, and that was luck of the draw, I guess. We're going to get them, though. We're going to get them. I think we're going to get them today. I have a good feeling about this lake. And... No pressure. What? No pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Fish finder just died. Had a full charge. It's either the cold that's getting to her or a defaulty battery. I don't know. See if she'll turn back on. It's going to be hard to uh, find the fish that we haven't caught yet without electronics. Nothing? stories of 
trophy bluegills, trophy crappies, and trophy perch coming out of this lake. Haven't uh, haven't verified any of those any of those stories today, but we're doing all right on tip ups. Got a couple of pike, so all in all, you know, it's not too bad of a day. Oh yeah, this is a good fish, bud. Oh yeah, this is a good fish, bud. Not a pike, huh? No, not a pike. This is a panner. Oh, no, I mean, not an incredible gill, but but it is definitely that's a set. That's a six, seven incher right there. That's a good eater right there. That's a perfect keeper. Could, are you kidding me? A smaller one. Oh, he's got some attitude though. Smaller one, yeah. Maybe I mean, well, I don't know. The pike were biting all day. They were biting early. I missed, did I just miss him? Yeah, I just missed him. Got him? Oh my god, that was a toad. That was an absolute toad I just missed. Caught a couple of bluegills out of this hole. Just had a couple of beyond incredible hits. It's getting close to dark. We're gonna stick her out for a few more minutes. Hopefully we can uh, find out what's nibbling. Well, we're calling her. We didn't catch the mystery giant panfish, but we got a one-man limit of pike. All in all, not a bad day for the first time on Farmer's.